crispy. Hey guys, it's Tom and I'm back again with another haul video. Um, my second attempt at this video, um, the first one was just really bad. Uh, I was all over the place, I forgot the names of things, and uh, I was jumping, you know, from the computer to the to the video, and uh, so I figured just scrap it and start over. Um, but before I show the books, um, I just wanted to try to point some people in the direction of some videos on YouTube. Um, there's currently a ACBA tournament going on right now, and uh, for those of you who do not know, ACBA stands for Articulated Comic Book Art, and uh, every year they hold a tournament for the guys who are at the best at what they do it, in um, posing figures and setting up dioramas, and like I said, they're really elaborate displays, and um, I think you guys would get a kick out of them if you're not familiar with it. Just... Um, Type it in your search bar, ACBA Championship Tournament, and you'll see all the different entry videos. Um, there's some great stuff. Uh, just uh, just check it out. Just at least one or two of them, just uh, so you see what else is out there. And uh, on with the haul. Uh, so we got a combination of uh, trades and flea market halls and uh, local comic shops and things of that nature. Uh, next is a book I got at the flea market. It was for a dollar. And uh, it's uh, it wasn't in a bag or a board. It's it was loose and it's a little dark. Um, and I'm not a big Swamp Thing fan, but this is a cover that I'm pretty sure I saw on YouTube. I'm always doing that. If I see it on YouTube, I'll pick it up. And I think it's one of the early appearances of Justice League Dark. It's got the Demon and uh, Dead Man and of course Swamp Thing and Spectre and um, I forgot this character's name, but. Um, and it's an Alan Moore story, so it's pretty good. Um, next book here I got for 50 cents as well. Again, loose. Um, and if you look this book up on eBay, people are asking anywhere from 15 to $20 for it. And um, it may be it's a combination of the Season 2 of Daredevil, um, with Bullseye is going to be in it and the Punisher is going to be in it. But in addition to that, I found out um, from a couple of my friends that... Uh, these books were low print runs from 100 to 105 or 104, maybe 105 I think is when it ended. Um, and it's a cool cover to boot. Um, and I found two copies of them back to back. It's too bad they weren't in nicer condition. So we got those. Uh, gorgeous Adam Hughes cover, barbed wire number four. I still have to rebuy number three because it's got a big crease down it because. The guy folded it when he put it in my bag. Um, found this for a dollar. Marvel Team Up number nine. I'm all over anything with Luke Cage and and not so much Daredevil, but I always like Luke Cage and Moon Knight and Iron Fist and Heroes for Hire and all those street level heroes. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading this. Um, plus, it's a Robert Kirkman story. Um, this was a cool find. Um, I'm looking forward to the show that starts in the next week or so. Uh, alias number three. Night Nurse. Uh, this was a book, I think, that compiles all of the original issues. And I got this for 50% off cover price. And I love the actress who plays the Night Nurse in the Daredevil series. Um, God, what the hell's her name? She's she's hot. I like I dig her a lot. Um, next, some more heroes for hire. Found these in the quarter bin. We got issue number fifteen, number thirteen. It's got like an anime feel to it. Rosario Dawson is uh, the woman's name, the actress's name in the Daredevil series that plays the night nurse. Uh, number twelve. And number uh, 11, which is a second print variant, World War Hulk. Um, haven't read it yet. And then I found some issues of Power Man and Iron Fist for my, for my run. Uh, number 75 with this excellent painted cover. Reminds me of the old uh, magazines, uh, the Marvel magazines. It's got that kind of feel to it. Um, 
It looks like my books got out of order. Um, there's other issues of Power Man and Iron Fist in there as well. This is a four uh, issue. It's not a mini series. I don't know how many issues were in there, but uh, in this run. Um, but I got the first four issues of this. Oh, it is a mini series, actually. I haven't cracked it open yet, but it says final chapter. So this was a four issue mini series of Adam Warlock. Uh, I haven't cracked this open yet, but it was for five bucks, I'd figure it worth a read because I'm a big cosmic fan and love Adam Warlock. Um, you know what, let me crack this open now so you guys can see the other covers and I can see them for the first time as well. Make sure I don't get a tape pull on the covers. I hate that. Did that only really one time on an older book. I got a tape pull on it. Um, I can't remember which one it was. It was like a, a 60s book. That's just a filler issue. Um, so we got number one. This is interesting. Uh, number two, Captain Marvel back from the dead. This is cool. Number three with uh, versus Drax. And of course, number four. So this looks like it's going to be a very exciting read. I'm looking forward to checking that out. Maybe I'll read that tonight. Uh, Eternals, number one. Um, there was some talk about this a little while ago, getting some sort of play in some sort of TV or, you know, movie. Um, and I always get the Eternals mixed up with the Celestials. Um, but this was issue number one. I got it for six bucks. Captain America 359, cameo appearance of uh, Crossbones. And um, I don't know where he appears in this book. I've read it twice, and I, I, don't, I couldn't really spot him. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue 2. And these books are all out of order because I've reshot the video. And then uh, number 1. So many books I've got to read still. Some more Heroes for Hire. This was a three-issue set. Uh, Civil War. One, two, and three. Got this for a dollar. X Men number two fifty eight. Uh, early Psylocke appearance. Iron Man number nine. Uh, second print variant. Crash Ryan. Um, there was talk about this being optioned for something as well. Got this for fifty cents. And if it doesn't go anywhere, I thought it was kind of cool anyway, since my last name is Ryan. Uh, Marvel Team-Up Issues, I got number 51, and number 49, and number 50, and it turns out number 50 is a double for me, I hate when I do that, but it gives me the opportunity to trade with you guys, and I got some books in, in this haul uh, as a trade. Speaking of trades, um, this is like a, a trade paperback, um, it's a uh, Marvel Fireside, uh, I think that's what it was referred to as. And this was Marvel's uh, Great Superhero Battles. It's got a John Romita uh, Sr. cover. And this came out in the late 70s. And I got this for only $2. And the only problem it has is this bottom corner. Uh, but I'll pay $2 for this all day, every day. I have a gorgeous copy of a um, another Fireside book called uh, Bring On the Bad Guys. Uh, there was also uh, a woman, women uh, of Marvel issue and a couple of other ones. I'd like to get them all just for the covers alone because they're really nice. And it brings me back to when I was a kid. Like everything in my collection does. Um, found another Bone uh, book. Uh, and this one's a compilation. Um, the, the first six issues. So I'm glad to get this and I'm going to give this a read. I'm still trying to chase down those uh, Scholastic books. This is a $2 item I got from the flea market. And it's a it's a notebook, a hardcover. And I'm going to use it to put my wish list in uh, what books I'm looking for. Uh, this next book I got uh, in a 50 cent bin. And I found it the same morning that Mercenaut showed it in his video. Um, that's kind of cool when he puts his videos out, um, on Saturday mornings and right before I hit the flea market and, uh, I came across this. This is the, uh, 
the more desirable of the two issues, from what I understand, uh, the second print variant, because it's got the, uh, the rescue armor for Pepper Potts on the cover. And this I grabbed in, this, uh, in the same box. In this, I only grabbed it because it was a, a variant cover. Um, Avenging Spider-Man 15.1. I don't know if there's anything significant about it. Like I said, it was... <coughs> excuse me. A lot of talking, so I'm getting dry throat. Uh, a second print variant. Very, very, very stoked to find these. Um, I found these next two books on eBay. Um, got them for a total of $7, 6 or $7, including the shipping. And um, I've been looking everywhere for these Betty Page comics. Uh, I think this one here is a one-shot. Um, amazing Dave, Dave Stevens cover, and there's three stories inside. And this is a three-issue uh, set. I've still got to try to find the other two issues. Um, Queen of the Nile by Jim Silkey. Um, and his name will come up again later in the video uh, for another Betty Page thing that I picked up. Uh, I got this for $3 on eBay. Um, it was $0.99 cents and $2 shipping. Um, a Danger Girl Dynamic Forces variant. Uh, it's got this amazing 70s feel to it. Uh, I, I love J. Scott Campbell's work on Danger Girl, I think, more than any other title. And it's got that uh, Dynamic Forces certificate to it, which kind of means nothing. Uh, this next book I got in a trade with Comic Fan, and a link to his channel will be in the uh, description. And uh, I traded him uh, the first appearance of the Ventriloquist for this amazing Adam Hughes book that I've been hunting ever since I saw it in Mercenauts video over a year ago and the price on this book is, is just astronomical it used to be a, a cheap book from what I understand it was just like in bargain bins and now it's um, I guess I think because of the YouTube community more people get to see these books and they want them and uh, drives the price up on them and uh, that's the only reason why I wanted this book is because I saw it on YouTube and of course I collect Adam Hughes stuff so I was glad to get that thank you sir uh, this next book is I'm really stoked to have. Um, so a uh, kid that I work with um, went to New York Comic Con and uh, he got to meet J. Scott Campbell and he got him to sign my Amazing Spider-Man 607. Uh, I wish I got to uh, go as well, but I couldn't. And uh, very happy to have this in my collection. Um, so thank you, Carlos, if you're watching. I appreciate it. Uh, next is some books that I got in a trade with Michael Jocko, and uh, we've been working on this trade since like July, I think. Um, Michael got his books, he told me, in the mail today. Today's Friday, uh, the 30th. Tomorrow's the 31st. Um, and he told me he was happy with his stuff, and I'm definitely happy with mine. Uh, he knows I'm a Red Sonja fan, and picked up a couple of issues that I needed for this title, She Devil with a Sword. Number 38, number 36, 35, and Michael lives in Canada, um, and shipping to Canada is crazy. Um, I was two ounces over, and they wanted to charge me $50 for shipping, so I had to go to go home and I'd redo it, take out all the bags and boards, take out all the boards to try to make it lighter, and... Uh, I dropped one book out of the uh, the stack, which I'll I'll send to him at a later date, just so I can ship it for like twenty three. It's it's crazy. Um, <clears throat> got this gorgeous blue foil one shot of Red Sonia. It's a variant uh, blue foil variant uh, number forty forty six. Um, this is another reason why I, I reshot the video because I said that this was a Frank Cho cover and I should know better because I'm a fan of uh, this artist and it's Art Adams. I'm also a big fan of Frank Cho as well who's in the next uh, next cover. But um, this is a book I wish I had when I was at the Comic Con uh, earlier this year. Um, Hulk number 8, Art Adams. And the variant cover with Frank Cho. And then he also found this Michael Turner uh, variant cover for me for number six for the Red Hulk. And some issues of Bone, number six from Image. And number 38 from the cartoon books. And a uh, pretty thick book. Um, it's almost as if it was a double issue. 
And then some amazing Spider-Man issues, number 157 and 168. Very happy to get those. Anytime I can get Spider-Man under 200, uh, I'm really happy to do that. And some issues of Power Girl for my run, number three. Um, some Micronaut issues. Um, I'm trying to complete this set and on the cheap because it's real easy to complete on the cheap. Um, number 40 and number 41. And then some more issues of Power Girl, number 23, number 7, number 13, number 22, and then Dracula, number 49. Um, this is a book that's starting to get uh, some, some popularity to it, and it's the uh, first appearance of the new Blue Beetle. Um, this is... The Jim Lee sketch variant uh, for Infin Infinite Crisis number three. I had this set back in the day in one of the first trades I made. Uh, one of the early trades I made with Fool Killer, I think. It wasn't Fool Killer. It was uh, Vin Crew. Um, I traded the whole mini series away, um, but you can I can easily get them back. It, they're not too hard to come by. Um, so I found the sketch variants uh, for number three, which is the first appearance of the. The person who plays the new Blue Beetle, and I forgot his names, I always mix them up with the uh, the Ultimate Spider-Man, you know, that character. Um, but this is the book that has his first appearance in the new Blue Beetle costume, number five. And then the one you want to get is the one that actually has him on the cover. So I'm going to be chasing that one down until I find it. And uh, hopefully I'll find it in a bargain bin. Another Adam Hughes cover. Tomb Raider number 41, and uh, there's his little AH on the bottom, Zatanna number 7, uh, this is an artist that I got turned on to by uh, Vin Crew, um, it's Art Germ, um, Birds of Prey number 8, this is a really gorgeous cover, glad to get that, another J. Scott Campbell cover, X-Men, uh, 1 of 4, Worlds of Part, this is a book I got for $3, uh, it's uh, Psylocke, uh, number 2 of 4, and 1 of 4. Got that for $3. This book I got for 50% off as well, and this was like $1.25 or something. Yeah, $1.25. Um, and the interior art and story on this is just garbage. Um, the only thing that this is good for is the J. Scott Campbell cover. It's a nice cover. Last couple of books, uh, the movie adaptation for Supergirl. This was only a quarter. And then some books that uh, I picked up for my Power Man and Iron Fist run. These were only a buck a piece. Number 93, number 69. And one day I want to sit down and just read the whole run when I have it completed. I haven't read any of them yet, including... Uh, no, I have read um, Luke Cage number one because I had the, the re-Marvel... Uh, Marvel Legends reprint, so I've read that. It's the only issue from this entire run that I've read. Number 70, number 71, and I'm almost completed. 74, number 77, number 88, number 86, number 80, number 68. And that's that for those. And then this I picked up. It's the only monster variant that I like this year that I've seen so far. It's the Harley Quinn one, number 21. So I'm glad to get that. Um, heavy Metal. I found a couple issues of this. The artwork's always interesting in these. Um, and then they were only a dollar, so I figured I'd pick them up. This I found. It's in really ratty condition but it was only 50 cents and you know with the whole Star Wars thing coming out the uh, movie coming out um, this Return of the Jedi uh, collector's edition book was only 50 cents so I figured I'd grab it I'll rebag this at some point a Punisher magazine I grabbed number 12 and last uh, this uh, gorgeous uh, Betty Page book uh, by Jim Silkey he did one of the, the, the covers to one of the other comics that I had shown um, got this off of Amazon for only six dollars 
Um, it's a pretty large book. Um, it was only tw it was twenty dollars back when it was re released. I got it for six, um, and that's it. That's our little haul for this time. Um, I've got a lot of other books to show. Um, you know, from some other trades that I made with uh, Scott X thirteen oh seven, Matt Comic Order four ten, and Vin Crew. Um, I'm going to show their books next time, um, and some other stuff that I picked up from the flea market today. I went again today. And um, thanks again for watching, everybody, and um, be sure to check out some of those other videos that I had told you about. Um, and until next time, you guys take care of yourselves. Bye.